Hello, welcome to Biganology. Today I will show you how to do paramecium culture. Paramecium is small unicellular organism, very difficult to get, very difficult to catch, very difficult to show to students. Now advantage is the moment we do culture, we get thousands of paramecium in one place. So, easy to handle, easy to show and with the help of microscope, high power, we can even arrest them and show them easily their ciliary movement. So, here we are, let's start. So, we need some items, a handful of hay, I put on a 500 ml picker. I have given some water here, about 500 ml, about this much water. And we need small speck of rice. We need scissor if the hay is big, but if it is cut, already cut, so. Now, let's switch on the heater which is here. Now, whenever you are using heater, beware that it should be on a metallic thing we have given with sand. So when you switch on the heater, it takes some time and becomes red hot. When it is red hot, I am keeping this there, so it will become heated. It will take about 10 minutes time to be heated. So this is nearly cooked. And just before you take down that, that from the oven, you should give two speck of rice. So then rice becomes half cooked. Advantage is the starch in rice slowly gets soluble there. And so you can easily get the starchy thing inside that, which is food for the parents. After this, Basically, we will save the hay and it's very very hot now. Now we got this hay water. This hay water is with rice infuser which is ideal for this culture we call paramecium hay culture. Now this have to cool down for about a day. After that we will give a small inoculation of paramecium from pond or any local water bodies little bit which we call inoculum. So let's wait for a day. After 7 days, we got this paramecium cult. Now, I forgot to tell you, when you got this hay infusion, please keep it covered. If not, mosquitoes love this water and they will start giving hay. And so, your paramecium will be eaten by mosquito larva. So, here we are. So, this is a very thin cloth with some holes. So, here we will go. So this is, there may be thousands of paramecians. We will just check. So I am getting one slide. I am getting a drop of water. But paramecium is going very fast. To overcome this, we will get some special thing known as methyl cellulose. This methyl cellulose happens to be a little white crystal. This here we have paramecium infusion. So this we give to this water, water and slowly this water becomes jelly like.
so now we put a cover slip so that it arrays the paramecium and paramecium cannot go very fast I need this microscope I need this digital lens which will be fitted on the eyepiece and this will be go to the laptop so whatever we are seeing here will proceed to the laptop and I can show it So you have seen this way we can make paramecium infusion paramecium culture where thousands millions of paramecians are there. Whenever you want to show to any students just get a drop of water sorry drop of this infusion paramecium and put it in a gel and then put in a low power first show them thousands of paramecium. The moment you give jelly, they cannot move anymore, not very quickly. If not, they will come and go, come and go. So if you want to show to the students, you will see, uh, student was about to see and the paramecium will move. Up. So if you have this gel, then paramecium will be arrested. And if you can arrest them, slowly change it to high power. 45x and then if you can go to oil immersion 1000 uh, uh, 100x into 10 that is 1000 magnification then you will see cellular movement absolutely clear and that is that is a marvel so paramecium cilia is so nice we you may you may have seen my previous video of botticella cilia but paramecium cilia is even smaller and many of them, much much more than what is cella or stint. So thank you for watching. We have many videos coming next. So wait for the next exciting videos. Please subscribe, like and comment and keep watching. See you.